Peter Holton is my name. Uh, I farm in Longwood, County Mead. Uh, I farm here with my wife, Carmel, and my daughter, Jane, beside me here. Uh, we milk 80 uh, spring calving cows. We used uh, heat collar uh, last year. Uh, we also use uh, tail painting and scratch cards and maybe observing the cows four or five times a day, which is time consuming. So changing our system from a high input, high output system to all spring calving had its challenges, uh, especially when it came to fertility. There was always kind of the, the mentality there that it's just going calf this time, we'll carry her over and things like that. But with uh, spring calving herd, you have to be 100% and uh, conception is very important. Trying to get cows in calf very quickly and in that window was challenging and the moot call certainly helped us with that without a doubt we had 100% of our herd submitted for AI in 10 weeks. Well it completely eliminated the labour in the parlour uh, both for tail painting, we were tail painting here every second day watching for cows to come in marked, the observation. yeah the observation not having to be checking on cows five and six times a day to see what's, what's bowling and what isn't and the fact that the text comes to your phone you know exactly when She's standing in heat, so you can go in with your AI either the morning or the evening. Um, you have a very, very good insight of, the, of the, the heats in the herd from that perspective. We had one cow, 11.44, she came bulling every day, and we, she was very, very quickly identified when it was the fourth or fifth day that we got a text from her. We, either, we thought that the bull was acting up or it was the collar, but we got the vet out to scan her and she, she had serious issues going on. So like straight away, she was eliminated as a cow that was for breeding. And we wouldn't have picked up on that otherwise. We would have just thought that we didn't top up the paint properly or things like that. So it, that definitely identified her anyway. There was a lot of heats early in the morning that we probably wouldn't have copped. There was, there was one cow I remember came into you in the parlor one morning and uh, she, she, we had gotten a text early that morning to say that she was in heat, but when mm. she came into you, she wasn't marked at all. We, we put her into the crush anyway for AI, and the AI man said she was 100% on. There was, she was dead on, and she calved. She calved right to the date, so it was 100% accurate, even though she wasn't marked. And she never would have been picked up. We never would have put her through if we were relying solely on tail paint for, for that. So it was, from that point of view, it, it is excellent it's out there in the field all the time. You have a vasectomised bull or a stock bull out with the cows. So it is, the, the bulls are doing the work for you anyway, so you might as well have something on it, on the, on the bull to tell you what he's doing. It's extremely cheap for the job that it does. It's really phenomenal. And there's, there's very, very little work involved in getting it set up initially. You put it on the bull. I suppose the biggest job is tagging the cows, but that, even that doesn't take long. And then, then the work is done for you. There's no more tail painting, there's no more Look, watching cows coming in now the parlour. The year before we had the moot call heat collar, we found that the breeding season did run on in, in order to try and get cows in calf, just to have them in calf. Um, I think our breeding season was 14 weeks that year. And then last year we managed to pull it right back to, to, to 10 weeks to have everything 100% submitted in, with AI uh, in the 10 weeks. So we, we certainly pulled it back by definitely a month, solely because of the collar.